Hello Watermark families. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today I get to come and share truth with you from the Bible. And we know what the Bible is, don't we? The Bible is absolutely, I can't hear you, absolutely true. You're right. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. Good job, boys and girls. Today, our truth that we're going to learn is that Jesus comes to seek and save the lost. Have you ever been lost before? Do you remember how that made you feel? I've been lost before and it made me feel scared and a little sad. But what we're going to learn today is the good news that Jesus comes to seek and save us when we are lost. Our truth starts off today when Jesus was in the city and a big crowd was gathering to listen to him. People that were coming were tax collectors and sinners. These were people that had done wrong things in their life and they didn't have it right with God in their heart. But they were so excited to hear what Jesus had to say. The Pharisees and the leaders were shocked. Why would Jesus want to talk to these people? Why did he want to gather with them and even eat with them? They grumbled saying, look, look over there. He's sitting down talking with them. But what the Pharisees and the leaders didn't realize was they were very proud. They were proud of the way that they did things in life. They knew what they had done for God. But what they didn't understand is what God had done for them. See, the leaders and the Pharisees, they were sinners too, which means they were separated from God. But Jesus doesn't want us to stay separated from God. That's why he comes to seek and save us so that we don't stay that way. He loves each and every one of us. Then Jesus decided to tell all of the people about a lesson and it was about the shepherd and his lost sheep. I brought my friend Sheep here today to help me tell the parable that Jesus taught all of his disciples. Are you ready to tell the story, Sheep? Bah. Are you sure? Are you ready? You think the children want to hear it? Bah. Okay, let's listen to what the parable has to say. One day, there was this big field, and there was a hundred sheep in the field. The shepherd was tending to his hundred sheep. They were all out there grazing. He knew each sheep by name. He loved them, he cared for them, and he tended to the flock as if they were all his own. But one day, he realized that one of his sheep had gone missing. He couldn't find that one sheep. He decided to set out to go find his lost sheep. So he left the 99 sheep by themselves and he went out to find him. He searched high. Can you search high with me? And he searched low, search low. He searched behind bushes. He looked everywhere. He was so concerned about his lost sheep. But finally, he found his sheep. Ba, ba, ba. He was so excited. He was ready to rejoice. His heart was happy. So he went back to his flock and he took his lost sheep so he had a complete 100. He was so happy that he found his lost sheep, he decided to throw a party and celebrate. Boys and girls, this is exactly how Jesus feels when he finds us lost. He brings us back into him and he is ready to celebrate. His heart is happy too. The Bible tells us that we are all just like the lost sheep and we've gone astray. We've decided to go our own way. You can look up with your parents in the Bible, Isaiah 53, 6. It talks about how we do choose sometimes to go our own way and not follow Jesus. But when we come back to him and we decide to listen and follow Jesus and we open up his word and hear what he has to say for us, we're coming back to him and we are just like his lost sheep that he has found. Boys and girls, will you pray with me today? You get your prayer hands ready and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for the Bible. Thank you that we can open it up and hear the good news about Jesus. Help us to trust and obey so that when we get lost, we know that Jesus will come and seek and save us. Thank you for our church and this time together. Amen. 
Boys and girls, I had so much fun being here with you today. I hope to see you back here next week and you have a wonderful week of worship.